It gives me great pleasure to introduce my friend, my brother. I've been known for a number of years. He's from the Great West Side, from the St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church. Let's say amen for Reverend Lyle Ferguson. Through it all, God is still, still there. We, oftentimes, Dr. Butts, my friend and brother, to Sister Butts, we are faced with many different challenges and crises. I say this to you all the time, that if it ain't one thing, Deke, it's another. If it ain't this, it's that. It ain't the light bill, it's the gas bill. If it ain't the husband sneaking out the back door, somebody else is doing this, the kids done forgot their homework, you're getting a phone call from the school. If it ain't something, it's just something else. Something is keeping the people of God at the altar and constantly, as we were quote-unquote say, bugging God. Saying, Lord, it's me again. Your humble servant, knee bowed and head tucked. I got another problem that I need to talk to you about. And throughout time and throughout the scriptures and throughout life itself, we see that so many believers had challenges. But one thing they understood that a lot of us failed to remember is that when they went through, they knew who to talk to. A lot of us, we go see our psychiatrists. Facebook, we vent, we got to tell everybody about our business, who did this, who shot John, we tell everything. But one thing we fail to realize as the people of God, why not do like grandmama even told you, take all of your concerns, your problems, your issues, not the Facebook, not the Twitter, but take them to the Lord in prayer. Somebody the Bible said that trouble started early. In the morning for Job, they woke him up. This perfect and upright man, you know, he kept his father, God, happy. Trouble woke him up. Shook him out of his sleep. Early all day. Told him that that was a fire that got started out in your fields, man. Your cattle and your oxes that, that glazed the field, they got burned up when the fields caught a fire. Job, a rich man, knowing that his stock just went down, knowing that his meat just went down, knowing that that lamb he had glazed in the field, they burned up, just went down. But he knew that God was a giver. And the same man gave it to me once. He can give it to me again he knew he knew he knew that through it all God was still with him the Bible the Bible kept on declaring as the day went along in Job's life that things continued to happen for the worse there came messenger after messenger telling Job that he lost one thing after another Pastor Butts, I heard you talking earlier, and there came along a servant to tell Job such hideous things. And even though the devil had his talk with God, and God told him that I would allow you to mess with my servant Job, but one thing I won't allow you to do is to touch his soul. And a lot of times, in our lives, a lot of us believe that we're out here by ourselves. But a lot of times when trouble comes in our lives, as the believers, as the follower of Christ, we got to understand, like Job, that this is the day when trouble comes in our lives, that God has chose us to be the new Job. But we have to believe in our heart, just like he walked, with Job, the same God will walk with us now. 
In other words, Sister Bless, I'm just trying to encourage you as you go through your troubles in your life. No one thing that God is still here with you. Maybe he never done nothing for you. Woo! But if he thought something for you, this is your moment to tell God thank 